Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am teaching you the lace stitch that you need to know to knit the Vittoria Poncho. The Vittoria Poncho is this month's free pattern. If you want to sign up to get that pattern for free, I will leave a link down below. So to get started, firstly, you need your yarn, of course. Today we are using Cusco in color number four. And then you, of course, need your needles. So today I am using a US 10.5 or 6.5 millimeters. I am using round needles just because it's my preference. And I do know that the pattern calls for a US 10. However, I wanted to use a 10.5 just so the stitch was a little bit looser so you guys could see it a little bit better. Okay, let's get started. So in order to get started on this pattern, the first thing you need to do is cast on a multiple of six stitches. So I did that here. I have cast on 24 stitches. Plus I also did two end stitches because I'm knitting it in the flat and I want it to just be a little bit cleaner on the edges. I went ahead and I purled the very first row. So then the knit stitches were showing on my first row of work. So this is a combination of four rows to complete this whole lace pattern. So to get started on the first row, I am just going to slip my first stitch purlwise, just as I said, to keep that selvaged edge a little bit cleaner. I always slip the first stitch and knit the very last. For the first row of this pattern, the first thing that you do is a yarn over. So for anybody, I'll show you again. It's basically just creating a stitch on the needle without working it from your left needles. So you just wrap your yarn around once and then that's a yarn over. The next thing you're gonna do is slip two stitches knitwise together. Next, you're going to knit the next stitch as regular. Then you're gonna take those two slipped stitches and you're gonna pass them over that knit stitch. Then you're just gonna do one more yarn over and knit the next three stitches. And that's it, that's all you have to do. So let's see that one more time. The first thing you do is yarn over. Then you slip two stitches together knitwise work one stitch, slip those two stitches over that knit stitch off the needle, yarn over, and knit three stitches. There you go. So let's show you guys again. We're going to yarn over the first stitch. Then you're going to slip two stitches together knitwise. Knit the next stitch. Pass those two slip stitches over the knit stitch and yarn over again. Then you knit three more stitches. Okay, last time you guys. So remember, yarn over first, slip two stitches together knitwise, knit one. Make sure you don't grab that yarn over when you're slipping your two stitches over. Sometimes it can kind of cross over with the two stitches you slipped but you can see I didn't pull it over because it goes slanted, whereas the other ones go more up and down. Yarn over again and knit your last three stitches. And then I have one more stitch to knit just for my edge. So again, because I'm working flat, I am just going to purl this entire second row if you are working in the round, you'll just go ahead and knit them. It will create the same effect. But because mine's flat, I am working on two separate sides. Whereas when you knit in the round, you only have one right side. 
So again, I'm just gonna slip that first stitch to create my selvaged edge, and then I'm going to purl across this entire row. So when you come up to the yarn overs, just purl as you regularly would. I know it'll be a little bit loose, but that is what's gonna create the mesh in the fabric, the little holes that create the lace design. Some patterns will ask you to knit through the back loop or purl through the back loop to close that gap. However, we want that gap in there because it creates the space for the Victoria Poncho. And then I'm going to knit the last stitch for my selvaged edge. Okay, you guys, so now we are on row three. And this row is very, very similar to the first row. You combine the same stitches just in a different order to create this off-centered effect. So for this row, the first thing that we're gonna do, of course, is slip our first stitch purl-wise and then bring our yarn to the back. Then we're going to knit three stitches. You're going to yarn over. Slip two stitches knitwise. Knit one stitch. Slip those two stitches over the knit stitch, off the needle. And again, one yarn over. So again, knit three. Yarn over. Slip two together. Knit one, slip those two stitches over and off the needle. Then one more yarn over, you guys. Knit three. Yarn over. Slip two together knitwise. Knit one. Slip two stitches over and off the needle. Yarn over. Knit three. Yarn over. Slip two stitches over. Knit one. Slip the two stitches off and one more yarn over. And then again, I'm just going to knit my last stitch. So as you guys can see, that row is exactly the same as the first, except for the knit stitches came first instead of after the slipping two stitches knitwise, knitting one and slipping them over the knit stitch. So for the last row of this repeat, you are just going to repeat row two and purl. And one more time, if you are trying this in the round, you will be knitting this row. But since I'm doing it flat, I am going to be purling this entire row. So that's it, you guys. That is how you knit the lace stitch in the Victoria Poncho. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave a like or a comment down below. And we'll see you on the next video.